اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله بخضر حسنه وجماله This is a Dawood Sharif to remove all difficulties and gain success. Let's talk about challenges, tragedy, tests and trials and problems, shall we? I cannot count the number of times I have been tested in my life since a relatively young age and I actually carry my wounds with pride because I am a very strong person. If I'm standing in front of you alive today, you have no idea what I have been through. I'm not saying that I'm the only one to have suffered, but I know there are many people in the world who suffer. Most of them like suffer silently, unfortunately, because in our world it's a taboo to say that you have a problem. No one does. Many people commit suicide. I'm really, it really breaks my heart whenever I hear of someone committing suicide because I have also, I know what it is to be in a very, very, very dark place. So I don't know who is bursting firecrackers right now. Like, why are you celebrating? I don't know. Maybe there was a football match or something. But anyway, it's so annoying. So really very annoying. <laughs> I don't know if I will be able to continue, actually. I hope that he has stopped. Like, some people are burning their money to buy firecrackers. Makes no sense to me. Anyways, I was saying that... Uh, you know, I was very, very young. I was, uh, I faced a lot of difficulties and every time it's like I fall, I fell and I, I rose up again. I fell, I rose up again. I don't know if it's God testing me. Apparently they say that God loves you, then he tests you. But I can say that there are times when I have felt like I can no longer carry the burden of so many like tests and trials. It's too much for me. And of course, what do I do in such moments? I go and pray and I cry my heart out to Allah. I have done that so many times and it's actually, it's actually, I wouldn't like, this is the most beautiful thing ever. I would rather do that than be fake and just follow the crowd and sell my principles and compromise on my values just to fit in and do like follow the path of shaitan get tempted by shaitan to commit sins to drown my problems in unhealthy haram things which of course i ask allah to protect me and you as well and i have seen many people sleep many people like sometimes they blame god for their unhappiness i'm sorry to say but i also was once in that category like when i was so unhappy i was so angry with god like i was so i i was very angry with god like why are you doing that it's but actually when god is testing you he's actually making you closer to him i think you must have noticed that for me personally if you do today why am i like stammering if today you see me with my hijab and like sounding very pious and practicing i'm not super pious i confess i'm not a perfect example but it's true that many people in my surroundings, in my job, etc., in my life, they have like noticed that I am very strong believer, very spiritual. It's true. Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah. Like again, like I told you, like many people think that you know my life is so horrible and nothing is going on. Why? Why should I pray? Nothing will change. So you are the problem. Your attitude is the problem. You are not making any effort. Allah will not become close to you. Like you are not going to pray. Why does everything have to come to you super easy? You're not waking up for Fajr, you're not staying up late for Asia, you're not fasting, you're not, you're not even thinking of Allah. Forget about praying, which is not a big deal as such, it's not that difficult. If you can spend hours on your phone, then you can spend five minutes praying. Makes sense. But these people keep complaining, they are not willing to make any effort, then Allah has to make everything perfect in their lives. So you should not be waiting for your life to become perfect to start worshipping Allah or praying it just doesn't make any sense like why are you bargaining with Allah Allah has you are not doing any favor on Allah like you need to pray for yourself like prayer is the biggest gift it's a way to save you it's a solution to everything why are you not using it just uh, yeah so I did I don't remember exactly oh yeah I started talking about my problems and my challenges too Every time that I'm faced with a calamity, with my, like I said, in darkness, you know, this world is not easy to survive in this world. Sometimes you are doing everything right. And the more you are a good person, the more you are sincere, the more you have good intentions, the more you want to do everything like 
the best way you could do it, the more you will have problems because people will be jealous of you. That's just a fact and people can't tolerate that you are becoming a good person like just like shaitan shaitan gets so angry when he sees you like all of a sudden like you have become you are praying you're going to the masjid you're wearing decent clothes you're having a beard you're wearing hijab you're reading quran mashallah so shaitan is boiling with anger he cannot tolerate it and he will come and whisper in your ears he knows your weaknesses i don't know what are your weaknesses but i know about me and i know that shaitan has come so many times to whisper in my ears and it did work at some point like i i even i fell for it and i was i lost my iman for some time but then i found it again alhamdulillah because that's how allah operates guys i'm not here to tell lies or to fool anyone or to whatever to brainwash anyone but just telling you the truth from my own experience experience that Allah will not allow me to go far from him he will always create situations in my life where I will have no choice but to see the truth like now if you ask me like the shabnis I am today the shabnis that I was the years a couple of years ago totally different persons I used to feel like you know like I wasn't really sure of myself who I am where am I going I was again so caught up in that maintaining a perfect appearance and being so concerned with everyone having to like me sometimes we we feel like our parents should we, we have to make our parents happy even if our parents might have shortcomings so we are so obsessed with everyone around us having to like us but what about Allah like we don't care about Allah we are doing so many bad things, haram things, and we don't even think like what Allah will think about us. It's very important. We want Allah to be happy with us so that when we die tomorrow, everyone is going to die. That's not a surprise. When we die tomorrow, like we are happy, we die with a smile because we have done everything that we could do, that we could do. Like there is nothing that we have we have no regrets in the path of Islam we already like there is nothing to change we have already done the best that we could and now we are eager to meet our Lord inshallah so that's just my message that I wanted to deliver and I hope that it will benefit someone or the other hopefully and yeah that will be all for me tonight so I will see you soon or inshallah on that note assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh this is the ritual if you want to get very uh, strong force and power. Allahumma salli salatan kamilatan wa sallim salaman taman ala sayyidina muhammadin illadhi tanhallu bihi al-ukhadu wa tafarriju bihi al-kurabu wa tukhda bihi al-hawaiju wa tunalu وتنال به الرغائب وحسن خواتم يوس ويستسخى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى أنه